Okay, so um, the way we're going to be learning is we'll be looking at uh, past papers and we we'll go in detail of the provided answers. Okay, so this is the past paper, uh, which was uh, paper one of 2017. Yeah. So when we look at the paper, uh, question one, which says, uh, what, what is meant by the term sovereign? Okay, so um, there are all these possible answers. There's A, direct rule, indirect rule, uh, C, rule of monarchy, D, self-governance. So for you to be able to answer this, you should know what uh, uh, sovereignty is. Okay, so uh, let's dig in and see what uh, sovereignty is, but we'll look at what direct rule is, indirect rule is, and the uh, rule of monarchy, self-governance, all these we'll look at them, so that at least we should know what this is. Okay, so um, <clears throat> according to the Zambia Constitution, uh, being sovereign is uh, an authority, uh, the sovereign of uh, state, <clears throat> um, this is authority in the people of Zambia, uh, which may be exercised directly or through elected or appointed representatives or institutions. So people can exercise their authority directly or through the appointed representatives. Uh, you appoint these, uh, the appointed representatives, the presidents, all these people you elect, or institutions. So this is according to the, the constitution. So from here, you, you, you have an idea of what a sovereign uh, a state is, <clears throat> okay? So it's the people who, okay? Let's look at the answers. A, A, it was a direct rule, okay? So in a direct rule system, a system in which a smaller Previously, self-governing area is ruled by a central government. So, when it's a direct rule, um, this the old system, which was the which was the smaller or weaker system, a stronger system comes in and just rules this system, takes over. Okay. So, um, a direct rule imposed uh, European uh, leaders back in the olden days. Uh, laws and institutions on indigenous populations. So leaders, they just impose their their rule on, on, on the people. Okay, so uh, what is meant by the term sovereignty? We're still going back to the question one. So uh, looking at all these, we've looked at what direct true is. So the next one is indirect true, which is B. Okay. In, indirect through a system of govern, government of one nation by another in which the governed people retain certain administrative, legal, and other powers. Okay. So this is a system by which a government of one nation by another, uh, or let me say it's a government which, 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 which rules or a country which rules another country through its people. Okay. Yeah, so um, this is an example of uh, the traditional leader governance in Zambia, which was introduced. Uh, the people of Zambia were governed by kings, villages, men, and the people were referred to as traditional leaders during the colonial era of 1890 to 1964 when Zambia got its independence. You see, so the colonial power, Britain, recognized the importance of involving traditional leaders in governance. Britain adopted a policy known as indirect rule, which which meant governing the people through their traditional uh, structures. Okay, so now rule of uh, a monarchy. But by now, uh, okay, uh, let's just say you don't know what a monarchy is. This is a state ruled by a king or a queen, you know, or by, in simpler terms, one person. One person rules the country. And this person um, uh, is comes into power through uh, heredity, so they are born into power. These guys, okay. So here, monarchy is a political system based upon the undivided sovereignty or rule of a single person. The term implies applies to the states in which supreme authority vested in the monarch, an individual ruler 
who functions as the head of the state and who achieves his or her position through heredity. Okay, they are born into this uh, into power. Okay, so as you can see with those cartoons, you just born into the royal family. So that's the monarchy. Okay, so a monarchy is not a sovereign state. It's not the people uh, who rule. It's one person. So, self governance. Huh? Self governance. Self-governance or self-government or self-rule is the ability of a person or group to exercise all necessary functions of regulation without intervention from an external authority. So this is self-governance, where you rule yourself. No one comes to impose their powers on, 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 on you. you see? So this is um, uh, self-governance. So from what we've... Uh, 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 analyzed and what we've uh, learned, you can tell now to say, okay, uh, a sovereign state is a state like this. Okay, so sovereign state from our definition of sovereignty, this is uh, um, from the constitution. Okay, so it's the people who rule. Okay, so so you see, self governance. Sovereignty, people rule themselves here. So, this uh, self governance is what sovereignty is. Okay.